Hey Greg, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. This is, of course is another episode of weird shit that I found on Instagram. Every time I make a video about Instagram ads or Instagram memes or Instagram comedians, my Instagram DMs are immediately flooded with people who find similar things and they send them to me, hoping that I will make a video about those things also. It's kind of helpful actually, as someone who, you know, makes a lot of videos about these things, it's kind of nice to just have people send them to me. So. If you find weird shit on Instagram, feel free to send it to me. My Instagram is Danny Gonzalez. But especially after the uh, video that I made about Instagram ads, I got so many people sending me all of the weirdest Instagram ads that I couldn't not make another video about them. Now I know what you're thinking, that sounds like a lot of fun. And it does, and it will be, but before we have too much fun, I think it's important to remember that this chair sucks. I've been using this chair for a long time. It's a fine chair. It's sturdy enough. I guess what I'm trying to say is there's nothing fun or cool about this seat. It's a pretty plain seat. It just doesn't really do much for my butt or the rest of my body, come to think of it. But luckily today's sponsor is SeatGeek. SeatGeek is an app that makes getting tickets to cooler, more fun seats way easier. You can get seats to football games, basketball games, Taylor Swift games, Kanye West games, whatever kind of games you're into. With SeatGeek, you can do everything on your phone within the app, including actually scanning to get into the event. They've got the best deals and they have a scoring system that lets you know when you're getting a good deal and when you're not. And if you use my promo code GREG, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. So head on over to SeatGeek. You can use the link in my description. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this show. Guys, get your butt in a better seat. I'm sure a lot of you remember the last time I reviewed ads for mobile games on Instagram, they all seem to have this really weird strategy where they show a clip from the game and then the caption above it just makes no sense. It's almost confusing to the point where you have to download the game because you're just so confused. Here's an example of this strategy. It's a game where you're this little blob and it looks like you go around trying to knock people off of this platform. And the caption is, I never knew anxiety until I played this game. I've never felt anxious in my whole entire goddamn life until I downloaded this game, which is totally inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Whether I win or lose in this game has no bearing on my well-being, but it was so stressful that for the first time in my entire life, I felt anxiety. And I know what you're thinking, yes, I do live a very privileged life. There's this game, it looks like all you really do is just zigzag back and forth, but it is the most relaxed game ever. This one's pretty interesting. It looks like you're just a little ball and you bounce from platform to platform and you try not to fall. And it's got Disney's magic Cinderella's castle or whatever it is in the background. And the caption for this one is, if you score 400, you can go to Disneyland. So this is interesting because like for the first time, it feels like an ad has a coherent phrase at the top. Like I understand what it means. If you score 400, they're gonna, gi they're gonna give you a ticket to Disneyland, I guess, which is great. Tickets to Disneyland cost like $100 each. It's pretty impressive that an app would just pay for you to go just for getting like a seemingly pretty attainable score in this game. I think the problem that I have with this is I just kind of doubt it. I really doubt that if I download this game and get a score of 400, that they're gonna like mail me a ticket to Disneyland. So I decided I would put this to the test, download this game, and get to 400 myself and see what happens. Fuck, fuck, no! Okay, the best I can get to is like 100, so. I guess I'm not going to Disneyland. This very specific format seems to be actually pretty common with games. Here's another game where you like hit a ball and see how far it goes. And it says if you bounce 10 times, you can legally reach Pink Castle, which is just the Disneyland castle uh, tinted pink. I can legally reach the Pink Castle. Was I not allowed to before? Why wasn't I legally allowed to reach Pink Castle? Why are they trying to keep me out? Come on, I'm a nice guy. Let me into Pink Castle. Legally this time. And then there's this one which says, if you swallow Big Ben, you can go to Disneyland. If you swallow Big Ben? What the fuck does that even mean? Big Ben's like the giant clock tower in London. So if you swallow that, you might find yourself at Disneyland. And to prove it, right next to the picture of the game, there's a picture of this like skinned, and gutted Donald Duck screaming in agony or maybe anger. You know, like you see at Disneyland. Man, I can't wait until I swallow Big Ben. I can go to Disneyland and see all my favorite characters, like Mickey Mouse with his arms torn off, decapitated Goofy, and skinned and gutted Donald Duck, who's very, 
very angry about something. Probably the fact that his stomach is gone. Here's another fun phrase. It's a little game where it looks like you flip, um, and then <laughs> there's a picture next to it, which is a girl playing in bed, and a guy looking over her shoulder like, what the fuck are you doing? And the caption is, when she's tapping the game more than you. I don't understand that progression of emotions, because I think the fire is supposed to be like, sexy, like kind of hot. So it's like, she's tapping the game more than me? Oh, ha ha ha. Oh shit, she's tapping the game more than me? Hell yeah, girl, you tap that game. You don't gotta tap me, as long as I can creepily look over your shoulder in bed while you tap that game, baby girl. There was one ad I saw on Instagram that it seemed literally everybody wanted to send me, and rightfully so, I think. It was very festive and applied to my life personally a lot. It looks like this game where you're a little pumpkin and you spin this sort of cylinder to try to fall all the way down. It looks like a pretty interesting game, but the caption and the picture next to it are even better. If you reach level two, you're legally a pumpkin. Legally a pumpkin. I've never heard anything better in my fucking life. And all you have to do is reach level two? Granted, I don't really know what kind of perks or responsibilities come with being a legal pumpkin, but I mean, it sounds great to me. So your bitch ass better believe that I downloaded this game and I got to level two. That's right. And it took me about 15 seconds. All I had to do was spin this little cylinder uh, while the ball fell and then I got there. It was kind of weird because when I got to level two, the game barely even acknowledged that I reached such a momentous achievement. It also didn't say anything about pumpkins. It said nothing. It just said like, okay, level two. Do that now. So I don't know what that's all about, but I'm guessing that my new ID will show up in the mail pretty soon, confirming my identity as a legal pumpkin. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to say to my haters, I told you so. You said I'd never amount to anything, but now I'm a pumpkin. But guys, the Instagram ads that I really want to talk about today are quite a bit different than any of the ones I've talked about before. This will be a series of ads from probably the most fucked up looking game I've ever seen. It's a game called Game of Sultans. I don't really know if it's a popular game or if any of you have maybe even played this. Maybe you could tell me if the game is as fucked up as the ads are, but it seems to be advertising all over Instagram. The thing about these ads is it makes the game look like this really gross, like sexist and all around just like awful game. And I don't understand really how it's supposed to make me want to play the game. Each ad that I've seen and that I've saved is like a series of pictures, like one of those little albums that you can go through on Instagram. So the first picture is three women and you're, it looks like you're given a choice. It says, your majesty, please choose a maid to serve you. So it looks like you're playing as like the king or the sultan of this palace and you have to choose a maid. And it looks like you're basing this decision purely based off looks as there's not any sort of resume that I can see. You're basically just trying to decide who's gonna clean your house best based on who is hottest. I've never known those two attributes to be a correlation, but uh, I don't know, maybe the Sultan knows something that I don't. Ooh, the game's heating up a little bit. Now you get to decide who would you choose as Empress. As Sultan, graceful and elegant as you are, you get to have your pick of any lady in the land. You can choose this woman, who you've got your arm around. She seems like quite a catch. She's sort of tickling the little hairs on your chinny chin chin. Or you can pick this crying woman who is pregnant with your child. And I think the body language is pretty clear in this picture who he's thinking about choosing. So it looks like you've gone from choosing a maid to getting someone pregnant, picking an empress. So what's next in the life of a sultan, you may be wondering. Well, it looks like the next thing for you is to pass on the crown. The kingdom has to live on after you go, so it's time to start having babies. So as sultan, you decide to have a child and uh, the newborn son is too ugly. What should I do? Oh no. Okay, so this is an interesting predicament. The Sultan has had a child and uh, it's too ugly. The newborn son is too ugly. Like there's a certain amount of ugliness that the Sultan would accept, but this son with his unibrow and his freckles, I don't know, he looks pretty much like a normal baby except for the unibrow. This son is too ugly. What should I do? What do you mean, what should I do? Like there's nothing you can really do now about the baby's looks, like he's here. The baby is here. But let's see what the options here are. I'm guessing it's going to be something like you can choose to either, you know, give the son up for adoption because he's too ugly, or you can love him just the same because no matter what he looks like, he's still your son. It looks like there's one button and it says dislike. So I guess that's your only option is to just 
dislike your son forever. Ooh! Oh, the newborn son is too ugly. Dislike. I don't like you. I'm sorry. You're too ugly. And that is the only thing I will be doing, is not liking you. This game doesn't seem very fun. There's not many options. So you might think this ad is a little bit too far already, but things are really about to go off the deep end in this next picture. So there's this picture of this girl, and she appears to be crying. It looks like she's got something going on with her face, and she says, My queen, please forgive me. So I guess we're the queen now. I don't know what happened to the king or the sultan, wherever he is. He's probably off disliking his son somewhere. And the two options here are forgive her or slap again. I've already slapped her once? I feel like a monster and I'm not even playing the game. It just put me into this situation where I've already slapped this girl once. I don't even know what she did. The game just assumes like, yeah, well obviously you're gonna slap her once, but what do you wanna do after that? Like, are you gonna forgive her or do you wanna slap her again? If this is really in the game, I don't really think this game should be in the app store. I mean, it's just a confusing premise for a game, first of all. Like, what even is this game about? Is it about even being a sultan? Cause it kinda just sounds like being an asshole. Like you're picking a maid based on looks, you're abandoning this woman, you got pregnant, you're calling your son ugly, and then you're slapping this woman. The caption for this ad doesn't really help either. The maid conceived your child accidentally. That's a weird phrase. She conceived your child accidentally. It's sort of taking a lot of the blame off the dude, right? Like the Sultan's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I might have had sex with you, but you're the one who accidentally conceived a child. Saying accidentally makes it sound like it was like a clumsy thing. Like, whoops, oh, I slipped and now I'm pregnant. Would you ask her to give birth and promote her as a concubine? What's a concubine? Is that like a mix between a cucumber and a porcupine? A concubine is a woman who lives with a man but has a lower status than his wife or wives. The next ad for this game has some pretty good social commentary. Let's check it out. The first image shows three women again, but this time we see young girls. One is poor, one is noble, and one is rich. I think that this image is trying to make some sort of like social commentary about rich people because the, the rich girl looks a little bit heavier. The caption says, Ottoman palace life. I was born 20 times before I gave birth to a cute princess. What does that mean? I feel like that's a mistranslation or something. But the result was accidentally fat. No one wants to marry her. Ugh. No one wants to marry my fat daughter. Do you know how many times I had to be born to have that daughter? So I don't really get what the picture's supposed to represent. Like, was I supposed to have a poor daughter so that way she'd be skinny? But don't worry, the next picture is worse. Jesus. Okay. The next picture is the rich girl from the previous picture saying, Father, I need a hug. And the father saying, you must lose weight. What? Okay, forget how fucked up this is for a second. The, like, forget how fucked up it is that this dude won't give his daughter a hug because she's overweight. How is this game fun? <laughs> like, it just seems stressful to have to be this little, little guy who is getting stressed out about his daughter's weight. He's all worried about his ugly son. I mean, look at him. He's so stressed out about his daughter's weight. His face is all warped. He's got like shade coming over his forehead. It looks like he's in physical pain because his daughter is heavier than he wants her to be. But don't worry, because part of this game is putting your daughter on a diet so that she can become the ideal looking 18 year old in your eyes. Wow. I thought this game was gonna be fun when you could have ugly sons, but now that I know you can put your daughter on a diet, <laughs> where can I download this game? What an awful sounding game. Why is it an appealing idea for a game to even be this sultan who's just this like womanizing douche? I don't know, but now I'm kind of tempted to download it and see what it's actually like, if it's actually like that at all, or if that's just a bunch of like weird clickbaity stuff to try to get you to download the game. So I don't know, let me know if you want me to make a video about me playing that game or at least seeing what it's like. Maybe I'll try it. Guys, holy shit, the response to my last video has been crazy. So for those of you who didn't see my last video, I basically recapped this entire story where Billion Surprise Toys took down one of my videos, but after a long effort and a little bit of reviewing my legal options, we got it back up. That was the video about Papa being replaced. There was the song at the end of it. I turned the song into a full version of the song to sort of stick it to Chad. That went up on iTunes and Spotify. It got on the top of the iTunes comedy charts for like three days. After I posted that video, it got back up onto the top of iTunes comedy charts and stayed there for like a week. It's also now my second most streamed song on Spotify and it's probably gonna become my most streamed song on Spotify in a couple days. 
It's just crazy all the good feedback I've been getting on that video. I really appreciate it. And I think it just really goes to show how strong Greg truly is. If you don't know what Greg is, it's the name that I call my fans. It's my fan base, but it's more than just a fan base. It's a family. We're a family and we're an army. The strongest army on YouTube, in fact, and the fastest growing at that. So thank you guys for being so supportive. Uh, I'm really glad that you guys have enjoyed the song as much as you do. I've loved seeing your tweets and like Instagram videos of like you listening to the song with friends and stuff like that. That's awesome. As always, if you want to join Greg, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications. Thank you, my sister wants a corgi for turning on notifications. You are truly Greg. I hope that your sister gets the corgi that she wants. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I am overcome with stage fright and I can't say a word the entire video.